Hey guys, what's up? It's Maddie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that's slightly different, well very different. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you guys how I create my thumbnails. Now I have gotten a few requests lately and a long time ago. So I do want to do a video on this. I'm not a professional. I'm pretty bad <laughs> at making thumbnails. But, um, you know, when I started out, I had a lot of difficulties. Like, ugh, I'll put some disasters right there on the screen. <laughs> I, hopefully I still have some of them, but they're really bad. So I'm going to get into showing you guys how you make your Minecraft character on your thumbnail. I've used Nova Skin, and I've also used just screenshotting my skin and, you know, like, getting rid of the background. Now, that's not a very good idea. It doesn't work very well. So I'm going to be showing you the program that I use to fix it. It is free. It's called Blender. Now, if we just double tap this, it opens up this screen and then it comes. And yeah, so this is Blender and I'll leave the link for it in the description. It is free, so don't worry. And also it doesn't have a virus. So the next thing you will need is a WinRAR file called um, Timmy's Minecraft Rig. Now this will also be in the description. Basically you want to use the top one because there'll be two different files. Now this gives you the shape of your Minecraft character. So it'll give you this. And what you need to do is click reload trusted and click revert. So now you need, you know, I like to open this up so I can see a little bit better. And of course you don't want your Minecraft character to be this guy unless that is actually your skin. <laughs> but so what you want to click is click the little head, right click it with your mouse. And then you can go to this button here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine away from um, the front one. So it's a little um, bronze circle and you just click it. It does take a little bit to load because it is a big file thing. <laughs> and here we have it. So now what you want to do is scroll down from the top and click this little X. It's under color X and then you click it and your skin will go white. So now what you want to do is you want to click open and then you want to click documents and you want to click where you save your skin. Now if you don't have your skin saved, you just might have to find a way to get it, I don't know. But um, so here I have all my skins and my pug skin is here. So what I'm doing, basically the thumbnail making today is a um, boo craft, a new one because um, I have a new skin now so I want to change it. So basically now you have your skin and the way I'm scrolling in and out is by using my little scroll mouse key. I'm not sure if you can do it without a mouse, like scroll around like this. I'm pretty sure there might be a different button you can use, I'm not exactly sure. But, so I'm using a mouse and you just hold down the scrolling button to move around and that's all you have to do with that. And then, of course you want it in a pose, you don't just want it standing there. But the first thing you've got to do is move the camera. So moving the camera ensures where it's going to be set. You can move it far away, you can move it in close, but you want to make sure that you're actually getting your skin. Like right here, I don't think it gets it very well. So what you want to do is you want to click on it, um, right click on it. And then hold it down with the right and then click left when you're done. Now it is a little bit fiddly. It might take a little bit of getting used to. I, I'm still pretty bad. But then, um, so you can keep moving it. Click down right. And <laughs> I've just moved my camera somewhere that I don't know. You want to make sure that you move it to face. So make sure that you maybe get it on the green line. It'll be easier if you want to get it straight on. So then you can see that it's actually pointing towards the ground. And we don't really want that, do we? <laughs> so then what you want to do is you want to click R on your keyboard. Now this will make sure that you can move it up and down and around. So then you can move it to the position that you want. Like I want it right there. But see, it's still not facing you, your skin. So then you want to double click R. So then it becomes this other thing. And you want to try to pinpoint it on your skin. So you might have to use a few different techniques to move it. So then you've got to try to get it there. Now make sure that you can fit your whole skin in it because I've done it before where I've cut out half my skin and make sure that you can see from all different angles how the camera is actually pointing because it does get a little bit fiddly. I have, so now you want to go in closer to your person but just scrolling and you don't have to worry about the camera anymore. So now what you want to do is you want to right click the hand. Now I'm going to be making the, my skin's hands hold out, like in the bootcraft thing that I have. So what you want to do is you want to drag it up if you want to have bent arms, like that. So basically you just hold it down with the right and then the least with the left. Now you can also move it with clicking R and moving it like that and clicking 
left to hold it in place and then you can click R double tap and then you can move it outwards. You can do the other arm so right click and then release of left and then click R and move it up like that. So I then you can also move your head by clicking R you can move it tilted and then by clicking R again you can move it sideways. So I'm gonna have mine like that. Also move your legs so what I do is I right click it and then I move it upwards. You gotta get the exact right spot otherwise it doesn't work. Okay there we go. So then it will bend by itself and you can move it whichever way you want. I'm gonna have mine like that and then I need to move the other leg oops not the whole thing. <laughs> move it up like that. You can also right um, right you can also R click it to move it around so I'm gonna have mine like that so there you go and you can also move your body like this I don't think I really need to do it in this thumbnail but you can also do it like this as well so now you have your camera pointing straight at your character and you have your character posing so now what you want to do is click on this camera so still have on the circle thing you click on the camera and then, so that's the button you'll need to use, but wait, not yet, go down. So if you want to have this on a thumbnail with a different background, not white, you need to click transparent. And then what you need to do, just make sure my camera is facing the right way, then you need to go up and click render. And then your skin should come. Now, if nothing shows, you probably put your camera the wrong way, but don't worry, you can just, ha you might have to restart it and go back and do it. I did not get this the first time. In fact, I didn't get the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth. I think I got like the sixth time I tried and then so your skin will render in the more detail you have on your skin and the bigger you have it it'll probably take longer like mine's gonna take five minutes okay so now my whole skin is rendered in but now it's just making sure the background's transparent and whatever color you want it to be so um, we'll just give it a minute to do that as well so it's still got a minute remaining okay so it'll stop doing everything in the corners and it'll end up like this now, if you didn't get it exactly in the center, don't worry, you can fix that later. So then you want to go down. So then you want to go image and then go save as image and then click where you want to save it. I'm going to save it in my renders because that's where I remember everything. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to call this Boo Craft New Thumbnail and you go save as image. So now it is saved. Okay, so now you want to go to Pick Monkey, and I don't know why it's open twice. But then, so you basically, you can do whatever you want here. But the way I make my thumbnails is I go Design, and then you go, um, I go Square. But this will give you black lines in your video. So this is what I've always done, and it's always just fixed it for me. It's a pretty sad way of doing it, but I crop it like this. So you move it across, like that. And you only do the sides, and it becomes... The right template now if you do get a black line after doing this just try to resize and fiddle with it until you get it that's how I got it so now you have your blank screen if you do want to put like a different canvas you can do all this and you can also put in some overlays and some text and some text and you can put frames and enchant the picture and it's really cool I really do like pig monkey it's a really easy way to do it if you're starting out YouTube. Now what you want to do is you want to go to overlays, the little butterfly, and click open your own. So now I need to find where I save my render. I like to put in my render first so I can position it, but um, so now I've got to go find my new render. Here it is. So now I've got my Boocraft new thumbnail here and so I can make it bigger and it won't blur that much because it is used with Blender so it's pretty good. So now you have your skin there and now you want to put a background in. So you can just choose any background you want. I think I have a Boocraft background here somewhere. Yep, here it is. So I have two different back, um, Boocraft backgrounds. Okay, I, I think this one still has a Christmas tree, but I can probably block it out from underneath my skin. So then what you want to do is you've got this overlapping it. So you want to go right click and then you can go center back. And then your skin should come over the top of it and you can drag it out to the right size. It doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to try to hide the Christmas tree. You can also stretch it out and there we go. So if your skin blends in with it, you can get an eraser and erase out parts of your background. Okay, you can erase parts of your background. Yep. 
so um, that your skin comes out, but it takes me a really long time. I don't know any other way to do it, but I just usually go along really slowly. Make sure your skin's in the right place, because if you remove it, then it'll look weird. So I'm going to do that now, because it takes me a really long time. Okay, so I've done mine now, but as you can see, it does not look very good. So what you can do is you can get the erase back one. So make I'm going to make mine a little smaller so that I can get it detail. So basically, it brings the background that you've rubbed out back in. So like this. The way you zoom in, I never really told you, is also you scroll. But if you want to scroll to a certain point, like the feet, you just have to move your mouse to where you want to go. And by the way, if you want to delete something, you just go Control Z. Okay, so I'm done. It isn't the best. I did rush it quite fast. Um, I didn't get the arm completed. But if yours doesn't turn out as good as what well, mine didn't turn out well, but it does take a lot of practice to get it right. And I'm sure there's another program that you can use to put over the top. But as you can see, little parts of it does... Um, go into it and that's okay if you want it like that but I want to make it a little different color so you can also do this and it'll change the color of it I'm gonna go for a really light color because my editing skills was not the best today so I'm going to make it a little bit pink I really like it just a little bit blue I think that looks pretty cool like that so now you just go apply canvas and then you've got it so you can do whatever you want with that <laughs> I think I just turned it off I did. There we go. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go into text and you can choose whatever kind of text you want. Now, the ones that have the little crown is royalty, so you have to pay for those. But I'm going to do um, a big bold text and I'm going to make it very red because Bootcraft is obviously like symbolizing a mushroom. So I'm going to make a red color. So basically, this little thing pops up whenever you add something new and you can modify it and stuff. So I'm going to put in Bootcraft. You can choose whatever color you want and whatever style you want to call it. And you can also drag it out to make it bigger or change it here and make it centered or whatever you want to do. And then you can see that it does look a little still hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to erase a part for the back. And it's going to take me a while, so goodbye. <laughs> so all you have to do is just make sure you're clicked on the overlay of the background, not anything else. So basically, if you want to change it's the thing of something you just right click on it and it changes it to that and so now I'm on the background so now I can erase the background now again you can also erase out parts of it that you didn't want to happen I'm basically done again I did it quite roughly but so basically if you want it to be a different color than the blue which is the canvas color you can get a picture of white and send it to the back and put it directly underneath this and it will show through white but so I'm done with that now so now I'm going to put a little bit 3.0 at the bottom of it just so um you know I can so we know what kind of bootcraft it is okay so there we have it and also you guys are probably wondering how do I do the mouths on some of my videos now there is a way you can do it in blender but I don't know but there is another way <laughs> it's a pretty lame way but what mine is don't worry about the witch <laughs> But yeah, so the way I do it is I um, I cropped some skins with mouths. I, I know, I'm a noob. And I put them like that. So then you can add them onto your skin. I'll leave this in the description, this photo, because I, I know I'm pretty sad at doing this. But um, if you do want this mouth, then yeah. So basically you can turn it whichever way you want and you can make it smaller. So um, now you can also go into custom overlays and you can click whichever one you want. There are a few that you have to pay for and you can also go in here and insert whatever you want. Like I don't want this here but but yeah you can also add stuff like that in. And all you have to do is go save and I just you can save whatever you want to call it. Um, so you go save to my computer and I'm down here. Okay, so there you have it, and if you're wondering how you actually put it onto your video, because I know when I started, I did not know how to change the thumbnail. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go to Upload, and then you want to go select Files. So I'm going to choose something random, is you want to wait for the little thumbnails to come, and then you can go Choose Thumbnail, and then you go into your Documents, and then you go Thumbnails, and then you search up whatever we called it. So I called it new thumbnail for bootcraft and then you just 
click it and it will upload and just give it a minute and it should be done. So I hope you guys all did enjoy watching my tutorial on how to, I make my thumbnails. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the description. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. If there's anything I've missed, please also tell me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye!